Hi guys, uh, in the part 1 of the tutorial we have discussed about uh, different models of AD dissipation, finite rate chemistry model and uh, fine AD dissipation concept model and all those models and their uh, advantages, significance and all those things. So please refer to the part 1 video in the description below. You can uh, please go through the part 1 then you can understand uh, in a deeper sense what exactly we are modeling here. Right, uh, so, so this is the uh, mesh what I am intend to solve for. So you can see here, I'll just zoom in. So here this is the fuel inlet, so this is the fuel inlet from which uh, fuel will be injected here I am taking a uh, fuel as methane and this is the air inlet from which air would be injected uh, and this this particular section so this, this is the uh, inlet of fuel and this is the inlet of air and this is the axis right and uh, this part is a pressure outlet and the above one is a wall so now how exactly we can uh, simulate the AD dissipation model I just uh, start with the AD dissipation model uh, select click energy on right uh, okay in viscosity go epsilon standard and the standard wall functions okay and in the species transport model, uh, so yeah, we have uh, said that this is an axis, right? So we need to activate this axis symmetric as we need to mention this is an axis and then go to species transport model. In the species transport model, try to select the reactions as volumetric. In the volumetric, select the eddy dissipation model and the mixer drop drop template. You can select a methane air. So this is our uh, mixture model, what you intend to solve for, and then click I apply okay now go to materials you can find that methane and air combo so then you can just go to the reaction here it is edit dissipation go to edit in the edit tab you can just have this window in which uh, rate exponents are uh, not necessary for us because uh, this is an edit dissipation where we will intend to only solve for uh, uh, E, I'll just show the equation what we have uh, previously uh, went for. So, in the AD dissipation model, there is no terms of uh, uh, rate exponents what we have seen that is only in finite rate chemistry. So, here only epsilon and k are important. So, you can just neglect uh, that part, you need not bother about this. So, only stoichiometric coefficients are important. So, CH41, O22, and CO21, and H2O2. And this is a mixing rate by default we can leave that constants or you can uh, vary according to that if you have the experimental data with you right so click on ok and you can go for density as incompressible burial gas and specific heat as uh, mixing law so it, it all depends on your interest you can vary these in order to have your different uh, uh, results according to your conditions so close and then go to boundary conditions in the boundary conditions this is the axis so i have selected that as an axis and inlet there will be two inlets so one is air inlet other is fuel inlet in the air inlet so i have given uh, velocity of uh, 0.5 meters per second and uh, turbulent intensity is 10 and hydraulic diameter is 0 0.44 0 0.44 means this length what you are seeing is 0 0.44 right and uh, in the thermal tab you can just go and give the temperature as 300 as i mentioned before uh, here no temperature or nothing is uh, required for a dd special model for the combustion to start so automatically it will get started uh, depending on the turbulence intensity only and the, the species you just mentioned 0.23 and the remaining it will take obviously with the nitrogen which is 0.77 right click on ok and the fuel inlet so it is also velocity inlet in which we have selected magnitude as 85 and turbulent density as 10 and the hydraulic diameter 0 0.01 so this is a small thing what you can see here it's 0 0.01 right and the thermal again i have left it with the temperature 300 but in the species we need to go for all the methane fraction as one because there are no other species that is been coming from the fuel inlet and in the outlet you can just select pressure outlet just go and select pressure outlet so in the pressure outlet you need to mention the backflow uh, conditions so in the backflow i have taken a hydraulic diameter 0.45 this entire diameter of the length is 0.45 and in the species it's air uh, backflow so i have selected oxygen as 0.23 and the remaining is nitrogen so air as the backflow condition so now and then after that you can just initialize go to methods 
couple i have left it initialize uh before uh, going to that you can just go to controls and you can just vary these factors if there is any divergence what you can observe so you can just vary that and then just go for uh, run calculations oh yeah sorry you can initialize initialize then go to run calculations and click on calculate So we calculated uh, to few uh, iterations. Now we'll just check the temperatures. So now you can see the temperatures, how the flame is getting, uh, or combustion is happening here. More amount of temperature is being generated, and you can check uh, for velocity counters also. So here the more velocity is because this is a fuel inlet here only 85 meters per second is been coming out here it is only here 0.5 so you are not uh, having the significant uh, effect that have been uh, shown there then you can go for uh, reactions turbine reaction rate so here the more turbulence reaction rate is uh, getting found compared to the remaining part of the domain or you can just have your own range so that you can check whether the turbulence reaction rate is happening all over or not it should happen right so it is increased by a bit and you can just click another zero so you can see the turbulence reaction rate is overall onto the entire domain but it is less compared to the fuel inlet position so you are not able to see so you can see the entire reaction rate is there and that wind reaction rate is only due to that turbulence kinetic energy and turbulence eddy dissipation rate so uh, have the finite rate model as our model previously we have eddy dissipation model now we'll check with the finite rate model actually it should be applicable for laminar rate model only for if you try to apply it for turbulence uh, it will not converge or it will uh, have its own difficulties in converging but still as a demonstration purpose we are just showing it so finite rate model click on okay then go to the mixture methane air tab go to reaction tab in the reaction tab we need to give this rate exponents stoichiometric coefficients and this mixing rate would be not highlighted because it's not an eddy dissipation model or turbulence uh, uh, implication on the reaction is not there and we'll give this a uh, pre exponential factor and expo activation energy from the papers have uh, shown or i have uh, seen previously so i've given these numbers click on okay and remaining uh, everything uh, as such here air inlet is 300 kelvin and fuel inlet is 300 kelvin but according to the finite rate chemistry it should reach that activation energy or else the reaction will not start because the temperature is low here we will check whether the reaction will start or not or the combustion will happen or not so i have initialized we will just check whether combustion is occurring or not so according to us uh, it should not happen because uh, it was not reaching that activation energy or it's not reaching the certain temperature in order to combustion to be started we'll just stop here we'll just check you can observe that the combustion did not start because the temperature is not sufficient you can just check see yeah, the temperature is 300 and 299 only so it did not start now we'll try to increase the air inlet temperature maybe to some 6 700 kelvin now we'll check whether the combustion will start or not initialize initialize click ok and calculation and calculate this itself is indicating a peak means there is some combustion happening inside the chamber right uh, i'll just stop here maybe yeah we can just uh, make it to run for another few iterations stop go to counters compute so you can see the combustion happened so the temperature is raised to huge extent but this is not the correct way of uh, uh, running the finite rate model which is which need to be laminar but we have ran it for turbulence so that's the reason why we are not getting an exact uh, 
combustion temperature around the entire chamber so now we'll go for the uh, next model which is finite rate come eddy dissipation model wherein we'll try to have both of the finite rate and a laminar and eddy dissipation which is least that would be taken as a reaction rate for our species transport equation click on apply okay and in the methane air so automatically this would be highlighted it means that the dissipation is also got activated so click on ok close we'll just check with the air inlet temperature is 300 whether the reaction will start or not So I think uh, you have guessed something. Yes, uh, whether the reaction will start or not. So as I have said, among the two, which is the least, it will take the least. So obviously here the least would be the finite rate model because it would be zero because there is no temperature that would be sufficient for the combustion to start. So the combustion did not start. So you can see the combustion did not started as it will take the least activation energy or oh sorry adhenius and the finite rate model is the least and it is zero check compute so the temperature did not changed so now if again you increase the temperature to 700 now the combustion starts and it takes the least among the both initialize run calculate so now uh, to my knowledge so it will occupy the entire combustion chamber uh, because we have uh, selected uh, uh, both models which is the least so if it is a uh, finite rate model or erheneous equation then it will go for that if it is the turbulence eddy dissipation model it will go for the eddy dissipation model so which is the least it will take that value and it will start combusting I'll stop here. It's only for demonstration purpose. I think uh, you have seen on the screen such a fabulous counters you can observe with respect to temperature. Yeah, so this is a temperature combustion happened. So the temperature is raised to uh, 2706.215, and you can see here the reaction rates also. So rate of reaction one, it is not finite or it's not turbulence, which is least, it will take that. So this value is means the least and that is happening here. So turbulent reaction rate and kinetic rate. So you can just check. So kinetic rate is happening here. And turbulence reaction rate values are this. So it was taking turbulence kinetic only. It's obvious, right? So among the two what is the least it will take so you can see rate of reaction compute display so it is 0 0.0016 or something and kinetic rate the value is too high 11745 so it's not taking that it was taking only turbulent rate reaction so you can see that so it's 0 0.0021 so it was taking that reaction rate and it's kind of progressing that combustion so I hope guys this video has helped you in understanding the combustion process with respect to different models. So please do subscribe the channel and encourage me in doing more number of videos. If you have any uh, comments or any doubts to be clarified, please post in the comment section. Thank you.